I think I have so many ones. See, it's difficult to choose from because, like I said, you know, we've we've been able to actually touch 5.5 million lives in the last a few years. So I'll quickly tell you two stories. Right, uh, we work in very remote areas also. Uh, so there are girls in uh, you know Kashmir that we are working with currently uh, in an area called uh, Kupwara. It's you know one of the border districts. Um, it is something. It's, it's a sensitive area. It's not easy for children to go to school, and girls like forget about it. Uh, so there is this whole community, like you know, small colony of girls who've been wanting to. They they aspire to become doctors, uh, and I think the pandemic has further fueled that aspiration because everybody realized that. doctors are just someone who saves lives uh, so there are these you know little community of girls sitting in kupwara uh, in kashmir who have no hope of going to school their parents don't know what to do with them um, and uh, so through one of our not for profit partners uh, and through the army goodwill school that we work with we were able to actually reach out to these girls uh, interestingly 60% of those go girls have actually enrolled into a medical program with us wow. uh, through our neet coaching program uh, i am very happy to inform you that all of these girls are doing extremely well they will be taking the neat exam next year and the way that they are doing i am really hoping that we'll be able to get at least 50% into top colleges uh, so we are we we have these girls who who never even thought that they could go to school but the school went to them uh, our akash coaching teachers were teaching them online their parents cannot object because now the girls don't have to step anywhere uh, so that's one one story of of literally changing that entire community because now other girls younger girls in that community also aspire right they like oh if they can do it i can do it too so we've literally made superheroes of these girls and uh, everybody wants to be that didi there have been uh, you know cases where mothers and i am especially talking about this because we're all you know mostly mothers here uh, mothers hadn't completed their graduation because of whatever family pressures they had right they were not able to even uh, give their 10th exams but now that the device is sitting in the student's house and they see that their child is studying uh, they they took it up they picked it up and they started learning uh, we then started receiving requests that now that we have finished the 9th grade 10th grade content can we go and write an exam can you help us also write an exam so that we can call ourselves graduates i was like this is amazing right we weren't even looking at this we weren't even when we started out we didn't even think of this uh, you know use case we said absolutely we will make it work so we currently have 20000 such mothers okay i'm really really <laughs> proud of this number who are uh, who decided to on their own self initiated study from their child's mobile phone uh, use the byju's content uh, in their free time and then reached out to us and said hey let me write the exam next year and we said sure we'll do it for you so that's happening and seeing the success we're definitely going to amplify that program also state education department are learning from byju's so we follow dot nic guidelines we comply with ncpcr which is the government's body for child rights protection uh, so i think in that sense children's data is absolutely secure it doesn't go anywhere your data is on the device so please uh, you know just make that to factory settings and it will be taken care of right and uh, tell me a yeah, story of a child i think i have so many ones it's difficult to choose from because like i said you know we've we've been able to actually touch 5.5 million lives in the last a few years so i'll quickly tell you two stories right 